What these discoveries are telling us is that there's a lot out there to be found. That we actually don't have the whole story of human evolution. Spanning nearly one-fifth of Earth's land, Africa is the world's second largest continent. Nicknamed the Mother Continent, it has been home to humans for over five million years. Bordered by oceans and seas, Africa's diverse landscapes range from deserts to rainforests. Famed for its natural riches and wildlife, Africa holds many secrets that challenge human knowledge. Join us as we explore 15 terrifying new discoveries in Africa that change everything. Number 15. Quartzite Rocks The volcanic island of Anjouan holds an impossible secret. Hidden amongst the lava fields and basalt cliffs lies a geological impossibility. Deposits of ancient quartzite, a rock that should not be there. This anomalous find has scientists puzzling over how the non-volcanic mineral came to rest on igneous oceanic crust. Anjouan forms part of the Comoros Archipelago off Africa's eastern coast. Like Hawaii, these islands were birthed by fiery eruptions as tectonic plates shifted beneath the sea. Molten magma spewed forth, piling lava flows atop the ocean floor until Anjouan emerged above the waves. Given this violent volcanic birth, Anjouan's rocks should be igneous in origin. So the large quartzite deposits discovered on the island make no sense at all. This sandstone forms from metamorphism, under great heat and pressure. Yet somehow, through the eons, quartzite beds came to comprise half of a mountainside on Anjouan. The mystery thickens when examining the island's geology. Scattered quartzite outcroppings have been documented before. But the massif uncovered in 2018 represents the most extensive quartzite deposit ever found. The research team scoured the area for clues to explain this baffling find. But the surrounding formations held no trace of the quartzite source material. The evidence pointed to an impossible conclusion. The quartzite originated elsewhere before arriving on Anjouan already formed. This has geologists around the globe re-evaluating textbook theories on island formation and mineral deposition. Anjouan's quartzite represents an anomaly that shakes up assumptions about oceanic crust geology. Number 14. Dinosaur Uncovered in Zimbabwe Scientists in Zimbabwe have unearthed a new dinosaur species that challenges our understanding of evolution. The dinosaur, named Imbirosaurus rathi, nicknamed Marathi, was discovered in 2017 by a team of researchers led by Christopher Griffin of Virginia Tech. The team was excavating in the Pebbly Arcos Formation in the Dande District of Zimbabwe when they found the nearly complete skeleton of Marathi. Marathi is a small, two-legged herbivore with a small, triangular skull. It measured just six feet long and stood only one and a half feet tall at the hip. And it lived in the late Triassic period, around 230 million years ago. This discovery means that the earliest sauropodomorphs were not already large and gigantic. They were small and bipedal, and they only evolved into giants later on. This has implications for our understanding of the human lineage timeline, as sauropodomorphs are the ancestors of mammals. The discovery of a small bipedal sauropodomorph suggests that the earliest mammals were also small and bipedal. This means that the human lineage may have evolved from small bipedal ancestors, rather than from giant quadrupedal ancestors. Number 13. Tong Child Fossil In 1924, a remarkable relic of humanity's distant past was exhumed from ancient soils in South Africa. Miners unearthed a primate skull that would shake up theories on human evolution for decades to come. This fossilized cranium belonged to an infant ape human that walked upright over two million years ago. The extraordinary fossil became known as the Taung Child. It represents the first discovered specimen of Australopithecus africanus, the southern ape of Africa and it provided proof that early hominins transitioned to bipedal walking far sooner than imagined. Renowned paleoanthropologist Raymond Dart first studied the Taung child skull. He correctly identified it as a primitive hominin, unlike any creature known. Dart faced ridicule at first, as scientists refused to believe the human timeline stretched so far back. 
the reasons for skepticism became clear upon examination. Though the skull sported human-like teeth, its tiny brain case was only one-third the size of modern humans. It matched an ape's cranial capacity, but the occipital bone at the base pointed to upright walking. These conflicting features ignited debate. But later discoveries of ancient tools and more fossils proved Dart's analysis right. The Tong child died around 2.5 to 3 million years ago, right when hominins first stood upright. Its brain still appeared quite ape-like back then. Tragically, miners blasted the tongue site before proper analysis occurred. But since the 1920s, many more Australopithecus fossils have emerged from South Africa's caves. These helped strengthen support for Dart's theory that bipedalism preceded brain enlargement in humanity's murky past. Number 12. Extraterrestrial Organic Matter In the ancient Makonjwas Mountains of South Africa, a thin rock layer guards a primordial secret. Embedded within this volcanic deposit lies traces of alien matter dating back over 3.3 billion years. The baffling find shocks scientists and fuels debate on extraterrestrial ingredients involved in life's early development. The Makanjwas Mountains contain some of the most ancient geology on Earth. In these ancient crags, researchers uncovered a paper-thin band of rock bearing telltale signs of alien origin. Two distinct extraterrestrial components were identified using electron microscopy and spectroscopy. One appears similar to organic compounds found inside meteorites dating to the solar system's formation. The other consists of crystalline nanoparticles, rich in nickel, chromium, and iron rarely seen in terrestrial rocks. The researchers conclusively proved both substances originally formed off the planet. But how did this extraterrestrial material get sandwiched within the thin rock layer? There are two possibilities scientists currently debate. One invokes a cataclysmic meteorite shower that introduced alien organisms to early Earth. The other imagines micrometeorites gently raining molecules down for a eons. However it occurred, these fossils of the formation of our solar system shake assumptions that life evolved solely from earthly chemistry. The Makonjwa's discovery proves our planet's development had extraterrestrial influences right from the start. Additionally, the alien deposit provides the oldest direct evidence that meteorite bombardment assisted the genesis of life. Cosmic materials containing complex organics arrived early, supporting a role in the transition from geology to biology. Number 11. Mystery of Namibia's Desert Fairy Circles Scattered across Namibia's arid plains lies a polka-dotted puzzle, thousands of barren fairy circles dotting the desert grasslands. These bizarre rings stud the landscape, ranging from 2 to 23 meters wide. Their origins have sparked tales of dragons and gods, but science reveals two competing natural theories to explain the enigmatic formations. Local folklore attributes the circles to a dragon's fiery breath, burning the grasses to ash. Others claim the bare spots result from gods dancing ceremonially on the land. Without scientific evidence, imaginative myths try to fill the knowledge gap. The Namib Desert experiences less than half an inch of rainfall a year. Yet the hardy grasses survive by developing deep root systems to tap into fog moisture. So what causes the regular bare patches where only dust remains? Researchers originally hypothesized termites eating plants around their underground nests resulted in the circles. An alternative theory proposes plants competing underground for water resources create barren gaps when the weaker grasses die off. Both camps present convincing cases, but computer modeling shows neither process fully accounts for the hexagonal patterning and consistency in size. The mystery deepened when circles were found in areas without termites. A research team finally proved both mechanisms combined to form the fairy rings. The grasses and termites interact subterraneous lie in intricate ways, together generating the speckled scene visible from the sky. While this hybrid explanation is accepted today, some scientists disagree, remaining firmly rooted in one camp or the other. The fairy circle's brief blooming periods after rare rainfalls provide limited windows for research. Solving the riddle completely remains an ongoing pursuit with much still left to uncover. The circles visible today formed recently, 
but ancient oral and written records reference similar mysterious circles appearing cyclically in the same region. Climate shifts likely alter the balance between grasses, termites, and rainfall over time, generating fleeting patterns in irregular rhythms. Number 10. Sky Stones in 1990, an Italian geologist unearthed a baffling blue stone in Sierra Leone. Angelo Pitoni learned of the odd mineral from a local chief, who claimed it fell from the heavens. Lab analysis revealed a molecular makeup never before seen on Earth, adding intrigue to the sky stone legend. Pitoni first analyzed the blue stone flecked with white veins to determine if it was a known mineral like turquoise. But spectrographic tests revealed a distinct elemental signature high in oxygen but lacking any identifiable mineral structure. The stone perplexed experts. Normal blue minerals like azurite or lapis lazuli appear uniform blue when crushed, but powdering the sky stone eradicated its blue tint entirely. Neither heat nor acids altered its color. The molecular composition defied classification. According to the chief, ancient legends said the vibrant blue stones rained down with a troop of fallen angels, remaining where the angels turned to statues. The tribe considered them sacred gifts from celestial beings. While folklore attributes the sky stones to extraterrestrials, science cannot prove this link. However, the discovery does represent the first documented mineral with a unique composition unknown on Earth. This alone merits scientific interest. Angelo Pitoni brought samples back to Europe for testing by geologists, but the 1990s equipment could not conclusively identify the mineral's origins. New geological dating techniques developed since could potentially date the stones and source the elemental components. Current technology also offers advanced spectroscopy and isotope analysis that may finally unravel the mystery composition. With sufficient remaining samples, modern science has tools to potentially explain the sky stone's anomalous qualities. Isotopic ratios outside known earthly ranges would strengthen the case for meteoritic origins. Identified enrichment in certain rare earth elements would also support an extraterrestrial source. While inconclusive, the sky stones remain scientifically significant as specimens of a potentially new mineral awaiting explorer characterization. Number 9. Lake that can turn you into stone. Tanzania's Lake Natron looks like a deadly sea on an alien world. Its reddish waters are nearly bright enough to read by, owing their eerie color to salt-loving microorganisms. Temperatures in the shallow saline pool reach 140 degrees Fahrenheit, leaving only extremophiles able to survive the harsh environment. The caustic mineral-rich waters appear blood-red when fed by mineral-dense springs. Certain algal species thrive here, blushing the lake further red when blooms amass. Abundant sodium carbonate gives the lake a pH of 10.5, more alkaline than ammonia. Few creatures endure Natron's scalding chemical soup, except some cyanobacteria. Their metabolized toxins make the lake perilous to drink for birds and bats, who tragically perish after mistaking its surface for water. Their statues, frozen in time, litter the salty shores, perfectly preserved. A specialized algae produces a pigment shielding itself from intense sunlight penetrating the lake's shallows. When Lake Natron's algae populations explode into massive blooms, their photosynthetic pigments stain the water-rich red, these extreme conditions allow a sole animal to inhabit the hostile lake. Two million flamingos, whose adaptation lets them thrive where most life cannot. Their deep red plumage matches the lake surface, while specialized skin and glands confer protection from Natron's caustic chemistry. Flamingo's main food source in the lake is the red-hued Cyanobacteria spirulina. Its pigments additionally give the birds their vivid pink colors. Lake Natron's unique ecology supports the world's largest flamingo breeding colony. Number 8. The Dendera Light Thomas Edison, the so-called Wizard of Menlo Park, is known for inventing the light bulb. Back in 1879, Edison debuted his early version of the electric light. But was he really the first to come up with this bright idea? Get this, there's an ancient Egyptian temple carving that some believe shows an ancient electrical light bulb. Mainstream archaeologists reject this controversial interpretation, but the mysterious light bulb continues to spark debate. The carvings in question appear inside the Hathor Temple at Dendera, 
one of Egypt's best-preserved sacred sites. Several stone reliefs show figures holding upright objects resembling long light bulbs wired to a power source. Some believe these represent working electrical lamps. Most Egyptologists disagree with this sensational hypothesis. They interpret the reliefs using traditional archaeological methods, referencing texts about Egyptian cosmology carved alongside the images. These inscriptions identify figures in the scene as gods and symbols from myth, not humans using modern technology. The lotus flower and serpent relate to creation stories about the primal ocean and sun god's birth. The cables link to burial barges, not electrical wiring. Without corroborating evidence of working electrical lighting from excavations, mainstream science rejects the light bulb theory. No wires, bulbs, or power sources have ever been found to indicate ancient Egyptians pioneered this technology. Yet proponents argue the reliefs could show priests using electric lights during secret rituals, which were then destroyed along with the artifacts. While provocative, this speculation remains unproven. Advances in materials science could help archaeologists better analyze the carved stone reliefs to reveal tool marks from production techniques used. This could settle whether more advanced drilling methods were employed, suggesting higher technological sophistication than expected. Number 7. New Human Species What discovery could ever be more momentous than finding a new human species? In 2015, just such a breakthrough turned heads when deep in a South African cave system, a cache of fossils was uncovered revealing an ancient hominin with a mix of primitive and human-like traits. This newly identified human cousin was named Homo naledi. The remains of at least 15 individuals were found piled together in a treacherously small underground chamber dubbed the Dial Chamber. Their placement suggests ritual behavior previously thought unique to modern humans and Neanderthals. This makes Homo naledi's burial practices a scientific revelation. Homo naledi sports a weird blend of old and new traits, Hands, feet, and limbs share remarkable similarities to our own, but the brain case is a mere 560 to 610 cubic centimeters, smaller than a gorilla's. Other ape-like features include shoulder joints maximizing climbing ability. Yet experts confirmed Nalidi's full bipedal locomotion. Its human-like feet and lower limbs enabled long-distance walking. This key adaptation arose incredibly early in our lineage's evolution compared to brain enlargement. Dating the Nalidi remains proved challenging with inconclusive results. Estimates based on cavern sediments place Nalidi between 335,000 and 236,000 years old. Surprisingly recent for such a primitive species, this suggests Homo Nalidi survived isolated in Africa while more advanced species evolved. Paleoanthropologists are rethinking timelines of how traits like culture, intellect, and emotional complexity developed amongst our ancient ancestors. Nalidi's blend of traits defies classification schemes relied upon for decades. Its discovery reveals greater diversity existed across proto-human species and geographies than previously realized. Experts are now re-evaluating how our genus Homo diversified and spread. Number 6. Mystery of Giant Blue Eye of Africa Viewed from space, a strange, circular structure resembling an enormous blue eye stares skyward from the Sahara Sands. Known as the Riche structure or Eye of Africa, this massive bullseye miles across has geologists questioning how natural forces could create such a spectacular pattern. Located in the Mauritania Desert, the formation's nearly perfect rings measure approximately 50 kilometers wide from edge to center. Early theories proposed the eye originated from either a meteorite impact or volcanic eruption, but evidence invalidated both hypotheses. The structure's age remains uncertain, but estimates place its origins in the Cretaceous or early Cenozoic eras, making it over 66 million years old. While the eye's creation process is still debated, erosion acting upon an uplifted dome of rock over great spans of time likely sculpted its signature shape. Incredibly, the Riche structure maintains its near-perfect geometry despite the Sahara's harsh winds and sands endlessly buffeting the exposed geology. This underscores the monumental scale of the processes required to carve such a titanic feature visible from space. While a natural formation, the eye retains an air of visual mystery that fuels speculative theories about its origins. 
Its uncanny symmetry and scale provoke unfounded connections to the legend of Atlantis, often said to vanish in ancient cataclysms. To date, no evidence links the Riche structure to mythical lost continents. But as an iconic natural canvas of enormous scale, the Eye of Africa carries symbolic weight commanding flights of imaginative fancy about humanity's past and our planet's secrets. Its visual drama stirred inspiration for both early aviators who used it as an aerial guidepost, and science fiction narratives like Arthur C. Clarke's and Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey, which placed a monolith within the eye's sight. The monolith is a mysterious object that appears to be of alien origin. Kubrick himself never explicitly said that the giant eye of Africa was the inspiration for the monolith in his film. But its placement within the eye suggests that the monolith may be somehow connected to the eye or to the continent of Africa itself. Now, it's time for today's subscriber's pick. Ladies and gentlemen, this might be the missing link we've been waiting for. Leaked images show a humanoid figure with pale skin and slender build, enclosed in a pod-like container. The alleged origin of this pick is the Congo rainforest, but the source remains anonymous. Is this finally the holy grail of extraterrestrial life? Examiners are divided. Some point to the eerily lifelike features as evidence this is the real deal. An alien entity, perhaps preserved cryogenically. Others claim the figure looks manufactured, nothing more than a fabricated stunt. Let the debate begin with the ultimate question. Are we alone? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Number 5. Zimbabwe Stones The name Zimbabwe translates to House of Stone, fitting for a nation home to extraordinary ancient ruins constructed solely from rocks. Most famed is the Great Zimbabwe Site, an impressive stone temple complex spanning over 720 hectares at its peak nearly 1,000 years ago. Great Zimbabwe's origins and purpose remain shrouded in mystery. The ruins feature gigantic walls up to 11 meters high stacked without mortar by an ancient culture no longer remembered today. Signs of habitation date back to the 9th century AD with structures added over the next 300 years. Several theories attempt to explain how the monumental granite walls were erected. Some posit foreign powers like the Phoenicians provided advanced masonry skills. Others argue the original builders possessed sophisticated engineering abilities, allowing construction at a massive scale using available resources. Archaeological evidence proves Great Zimbabwe was more than just a spiritual center. The highly organized site plan included areas for cattle crawls, markets, and the production of iron tools, pottery, and textiles. An elite living area contained artifacts, suggesting the leaders controlled gold and ivory trades. But beyond these insights, little is known of those who walked Great Zimbabwe's streets centuries ago. The ruins stand as a testament to forgotten people whose vision and skill produced such marvels in stone during medieval times. Surrounding areas contain thousands more ancient stone structures. These include fortresses, temples, and some of the world's oldest working mines indicating complex social organization. This region was clearly a nexus point of population, culture, and commerce in its era. Number 4. Leiden Bergheads In the 1950s, a chance discovery in South Africa unearthed clues to an ancient culture lost to time. Scattered across a farm were fragments of seven hollow terracotta heads sculpted by indigenous people over 1,000 years prior. These mysterious artifacts became known as the Leiden Berg Heads. The heads bore decorative markings and designs indicating deep significance to their long-gone creators. Why the heads were crafted remains unknown without written records, but buried carefully together implies ritual meaning. Two heads were large enough to wear as masks, while five contained holes suggesting they attached to garments as ornaments. One head depicted an animal, likely representing spiritual concepts related to transformations via animal imagery. The seven heads ranged between naturalistic and abstract in style. Realistically molded human features showed technical sculpting skills, but the faces bore extensive geometric scarification markings that conveyed information no longer understood. Chemical analysis revealed the clay contained blood, egg white, and plant oils, 
indicating the methods used to shape and decorate the terracotta. Blood and plants held ritual symbolism, adding spiritual context. The buried heads suffered damage from unknown causes prior to interment. Cracks and missing pieces indicate possible ritual destruction, echoing ceremonies practiced today by tribes involving breaking objects to release their essence. While their full significance is lost, the technical mastery and symbolic details of the Leidenberg heads hint at the cultural sophistication of early African civilizations predating European contact. The integration of realism and abstraction shows a complex understanding of form. What remains a mystery is how the heads factor into the spiritual practices, rites of passage, ceremonies and artistry of an indigenous culture, leaving no written record. Their ornate beauty and enigmatic purpose echo across the ages, inviting imagination about Africa's unwritten past. Number 3. Seven Colored Earth of Sham Arel on the tropical island of Mauritius, a phenomenon straight from an artist's palette dazzles all who behold it. Here, the sands shimmer in seven vivid hues, a rare geological spectacle called the Seven Colored Earths of Camarel. This small wonderland blankets a hillside with rippling dunes bearing distinct tints of red, brown, violet, green, blue, purple, and yellow. No signposts bar visitors from trampling these psychedelic sands, but a protective fence allows only photographic preservation. This sand kaleidoscope originated from volcanic forces mixing mineral oxides into the grains. Each hue comes from a different volcanic rock weathering into distinctly pigmented sands. Their origins include basalt cliffs, rhyolite found near lava tunnels, and tuff deposits layered with iron. Yet the colors remain sharply defined in regular bands throughout the dune field, despite intermingling over time. Experts believe the sands maintain separation due to particle size. Grain size consistently varies between colored layers, preventing different hues from blending together when disturbed. The dunes' contours shift with winds and seasons, folding the bright bands into abstract paintings reminiscent of layered mineral deposits. From the lookout, patterns emerge evoking visions of rainbow slot canyons, Martian vistas, and mirages at mineral frontiers never before witnessed on Earth. Geologists still seek to fully unravel the interplay between member geology, erosion, and hydrology, maintaining Camarel's flamboyant sands. But within the rainbow dunes lies a broader meaning. Number 2. Sacred Crocodiles of Bazool In a small African village, enormous toothed reptiles swim peacefully with local children. The sacred crocodiles of Bazool defy the fierce reputation of crocodilians behaving benignly as welcomed members of the community. Over 100 crocodiles share a pool with villagers in Burkina Faso. According to legend, during a severe drought, the crocodiles led women to a hidden pond, saving the village from thirst. The grateful Bazool residents began honoring the sacred reptiles as harbingers of life-giving water. Today, the villagers do not fear the crocodiles, believing they contain the souls of their ancestors. Many even sit atop the massive creatures without harm. The people feed and provide vet care for the crocodiles, which are named and allowed to come and go freely. When a crocodile dies, it receives a funeral like a human resident of the village. The crocodiles also serve a practical role, making noises to warn the village elders of impending disasters so they can take protective action. While coexisting with crocodilians seems bizarrely risky, not a single attack or human death has occurred in recorded history between the people and animals. Their harmonious cohabitation persists to this day. Zoologists believe the crocodiles of the species Crocodilus suchus behave peacefully due to early positive associations with humans through hand feeding. This conditioning over generations created an almost domestic relationship, though the animals remain wild. The sacred crocodiles of Bazool represent a singular case of beast and human transcending primal fears through ancestral bonds of trust and spiritual tradition. While other African peoples rightfully treat crocodiles with caution, in Bazool, harmony prevails. Number 1. Underwater Waterfall Seen from above, an impossible vision materializes off the coast of Mauritius, an ethereal underwater waterfall cascading into the Indian Ocean. But while the stunning scene resembles a natural wonder, 
It is in fact an optical illusion. This phenomenon results from the unique ocean topography surrounding Mauritius. A steep volcanic shelf surrounds the island, abruptly plunging from a shallow lagoon to oceanic depths four kilometers down. Sand and silt deposits flowing off the shelf create the illusion of an aquatic cascade. While no actual waterfall exists, the vivid lines and color gradients produce a mirage-like scene of torrents spilling into the abyss. The optical effect stems from differences in water density. Variations in temperature, salinity, and suspended particles create alternating shades of blue and turquoise. Where these water masses converge, the contrast makes the illusion visible from altitude. While elusive to capture from shore, from a helicopter, the cascading sand river illusion becomes breathtakingly clear. Some compare it to an underwater Niagara Falls plunging off the continental shelf's cliff. This rare phenomenon relies on Mauritius's unique geology and water conditions. The young volcanic island sits upon an extensive submerged plateau, leaving little shoreline before the sudden drop-off. Specific gravity and flow patterns shape the illusion. While no permanent fixture, the ephemeral vision appears frequently enough for tourist flights to glimpse the stupefying sight. But scientists advise skepticism about over-romanticized photos, which often digitally enhance the mirage. The alluring phantom waterfall demonstrates how reality and perception intertwine in nature's realm. What logic calls trickery, imagination exalts as poetry manifesting before eyes that seek beauty's truth behind surfaces. Like flickering northern lights or elusive green flash sunsets, the Mauritius cascade materializes in defiance of reason, a marvel leaving only ripples of wordless awe. Such fleeting miracles re-enchant the world for those who yet dream Earth holds unseen wonders behind the next horizon. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.